All right, I just came down the basement stairs and I'm gonna give you a quick little walk around so you can see what's down here. Uh, there is a block foundation. Many moons ago, the kids painted pink and blue lines on the blocks. So it's just uh, a decorative feature and it continues along that back wall with a different shade of pink and blue. Uh, and of course it is Vermont. So we do have dehumidifier and fans running in this basement. It has been nonstop rain for weeks. Uh, I don't remember such a wet summer in my lifetime, but uh, highly recommend that you run a dehumidifier. There is a boiler right over here. It is a Pure Pro Advantage cast iron boiler. Obviously this is not original, this has been replaced. I don't remember the exact age, but we will certainly get that information out to buyers. And then right here, there is actually a uh, access hole with a Bilco door um, to the exterior. Uh, back when they used to use a wood stove, which is no longer connected, you can see that pipe goes nowhere. Um, they just used to throw their wood through the Bilco door and then they would be able to access it very quickly. So um, there is a door here that can go on, but we're just keeping it off to show you what's behind that door. And then if I go around, you can see the oil tank. There is a vinyl coated line here that goes all the way over to the boiler right there. Here is the septic system pipe going out on that same side as the oil fill pipe. Now this back wall um, of the house has not been rebuilt. Perhaps it should be. So full disclosure, I'm gonna try to show it off that there is a bit of a bow to it. You can see that they've done some reinforcement here by putting a two by four. But again, in just trying to be very transparent that this part of the house really could use some work. And why is that? So out on the back side of this house where I did say upstairs, there was a mud room with a separate door and there's a staircase out there. The way that the water is pushing against those stairs is putting pressure on this back wall. So if you were to redo this wall, you may or may not choose to put that back entrance back into place, but there's definitely missing mortar joints. A mason really should come and evaluate that for the next owner. I'm sorry it's dark in this spot right here, but there is actually a good amount of space right here that you're just really not able to see because the light bulb right there is blown out. Um, but you can see that this wall over here has been rebuilt. So nice and straight, new concrete block wall over here. This is actually on the driveway side of the house. And then this is on the wall that's going out towards Twitchell Hill. They do have a pool table down here. So if you'd like to hang out, have a man cave, lady cave, this pool table will gladly stay here for you. And then over here is the electrical. There is a sub for um, the hot water tank. And then this is a 100 amp circuit. I believe you can see right there the 100, yep, main. And most of the circuits do appear labeled, which is great. But it is, you know, not a brand new panel. It's a little older, but looks good. I've seen no evidence of knob and tube wiring throughout this house. Uh, there is a concrete floor. You can just see, again, it's been so wet. There's a little bit of dampness really going all the way around. This front wall seems pretty dry, um, but over here there was some dampness as well, of course. Um, over in this area, sorry, I'm kind of jostling you around. A little bit of dampness over there, and then the majority of that dampness is over here on this back wall, which is obviously to be expected because this wall needs a little bit of work. So you can see the framing. It's all unfinished ceiling up above. House feels really solid upstairs. It'll make a fabulous home for the right 
person or family.